All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Moon, and as well rising. Uh, weekly love and relationship tarot reading, January 13th to uh, January 19th, 2020. And uh, if you are guys interesting to, interested to get in touch with me for your personal reading, or you just want to check out your business and uh, career tarot reading for that very same week, you can check out the description down below of this video. And uh, there you're going to find both links, uh, one to my website, uh, from which you can schedule a personal reading, or uh, and uh, one for the other video of the week for you guys. All right, so, oops, uh, one card fell down, just one second. All right, so uh, that being said, we're going to move straight away into, uh, into the spread. Now, the first card, which represents the very topic of your love and relationship week, that is going to be the Nine of Swords, followed by the second one here, which represents the energies that are supporting the team and the topic, that will be the Justice card. Afterwards, what we have, it is the challenges that you need to overcome in terms of love and relationship. We do have the Five of Wands. Followed by the fourth one here, which is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. That is going to be the two of pentacles. The third one it is uh, representing how other people are seeing you, how your uh, friends and family are seeing you, how your personal interest is seeing you, how your husband or a wife, you know, lover and so on and so forth. That is to be the page of wands. Then what we do have, it is uh, what is going to help your long-term love and relationship go. And we do have the King of Cups here. Afterwards, it is going to be what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. That will be the Chariot card. And the final one, it is the Guidance card. That uh, in terms of love and relationship, the Tower is offering to you. That is going to be the Ten of Wands. All right, so... Uh, it does look like that this is going to be a bit on the rough side for you Capricorns for, throughout the week for none other reason than there are to be some consequences that you will have to face based on previous judgment, previous decisions that you have made and previous actions as well in terms of your beloved one or of your person of interest. Now that is uh, described here by the Justice card, which is the very energy feeding up the topic of the consequences of the Nine of Swords. And uh, the Justice pretty much kind of says that everybody gets what they deserve, all right? So you did something, either good or bad, and you're going to suffer the consequences either good or bad. And why did I say that it is a bit on the rough side? It is because the Nine of Swords, it is always difficult to overcome because it kind of like represents the fears of one's soul. And now, especially when we're talking about love and relationship, this card very um, often kind of represents the, um, uh, how do you say it, uh, the, uh, the baffling of, of one's nature, being afraid to think of is he loved me or not is she wants to be with me or not and all these kind of stuff all right but at the end of the day the nine of swords needs to be confronted what i mean it is that you throughout this week will have to confront the fears that are petrifying your further advance and progress in terms of love and relationship so um from one side, we can say here with these two cards that pretty much you are uh, many of the question marks that you do have um, regarding your current situation in love and relationship are going to be answered. I mean, the product of your actions and of your previous decisions into this narrative it are, is going to manifest itself. And that product is going to be once again, the consequences of those decisions and uh, those actions. And the results will follow very, very quickly after. Now, important thing as well here to be said, and is that, uh, how can I say it? The Nine of Swords is one of the cards that some uh, that people were very afraid to be left alone. And uh, that may petrify one further progress, meaning that, you know, you may kind of understand that you are in a... Uh, noxious relationship, bad relationship, abusive relationship, and therefore uh, not wanting to 
lose the common future, if you will, not acknowledging that or not doing anything to prevent it because you are afraid to be left alone because if you sap, you know, the uh, noxious, rela noxious relationship, then this relationship is going to be no more. So it's pretty important week for you Capricorns here in terms of love and relationship. Just, for, just remember, guys, that you can't change the truth. All right, and as soon as you uh, recognize the truth about the current stage of where finding yourself at, the faster results are going to come at your behalf. And remember, the results are reciprocal to your actions. Everybody gets what they deserve. So the other card here, it will be the challenges. And that is the five of wands. Now, the five of wands is a challenge in terms of love and relationship, and especially to this narrative. It is the hope that in the very last moment, you will be able to change the course of events. Now, that, that can't happen. Additionally to that, challenging-wise, the card points to quite of a, uh, a passionate interactions where uh, the rights, I would say, the... the, the you know, the solution to problems or the, the solution to disagreements is anybody's guess. So there is no point leading up those wrangles. It's just there is no point whatsoever. So instead, challenging wise, it will be best, you know, if you are, I don't know how to say it, but let's say in peace with yourself rather than trying to find the, how do I say it, while you're trying to find a hope into a hopeless uh, into hopeless environment. Uh, in our country, we do have an, an expression for that kind of a situation, but it's not going to make any sense to you whatsoever. We say it to try to find a cow under the bull. It is because the bull cannot give birth. So there is no point trying to find the, the cow under it. Anyway, so the next one, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. And we do have the two of pentacles. So two of pentacles here points that you are going to have many other things to do. What I mean it is that even if you are undergoing certain a, a, a disappointing situation in terms of love and relationship, you can definitely keep your mind occupied with something else. Therefore, it is highly unlikely that you are going to suffer emotionally throughout this particular week with the two of pentacles now another thing with this card it is that um how can i say it um especially for those who are just starting relationships the card points that the relationship you are just starting is going to be much more interesting that you have anticipated so in other words you have grasped on a bigger prize than you actually hoped for at the start of that relationship. Now, the next card, it is how other people see you. And that is the Page of Wands. Now, Page of Wands, uh, it is one of these cards where people kind of see you as a someone who is sick of being told what to do. So if, uh, if the situation you are in relationship-wise, it is exactly that, that everybody is trying to tell you what you have to do, that should you stay in this marriage, regardless what, that you, you should leave this marriage, regardless what, or etc., etc., you know what I mean, then people are going to see your frustration. They will kind of like see that you are adopting that particular standpoint, that you are not a child and you can take responsibility for your actions. You can actually call for yourself what makes you happy and what makes you miserable. So it is highly likely as well that the pressure and the tension you are feeling from the others to do what they are suggesting you to do is going to abate drastically throughout this week, January 13 to January 19, 2020. Additionally to that, uh, this card here points that people are going to see you, um, how can I say it, being much stronger on one's own uh, than they have anticipated. So that being said, just one second, guys, here to get control over my camera once again. All right. So just to give you an example here, imagine the situation where your partner in relationship or in marriage, they thought that you are nothing without them. OK, and this was the trump that they were holding you with. Well, that kind of like perspective and this kind of opinion is going opinion is going to start changing. I mean, they're going to be very unpleasantly surprised 
to see that your life goes on even without them or even if it is without them so it's highly likely as well that they are going to change their behavior in a more appropriate way way towards you now the other card is what is going to help your long-term love and relationship go and we do have a a person now this person um comes up in two ways mm. one of the way it is that this person offers you help with your current relationship or with your current marriage and so on and so forth. So that could be, you know, a therapeutic help as well. Your couples consultant or a very close friend to the family who is trying to help you resolve the issues if you do have any or it's, it's kind of like helping you to understand the true value of your relationship and so on and so forth. So that is someone who wants your good, all right? Uh, the other way of how this card could be interpreted is, is someone who offers you to be in a relationship with them. It is because this person is very capable of a, uh, it's capable of a very deep emotions. The thing is that they only show their emotions to those that they feel those emotions to, okay? So that being said, they're not going to brag about it. And that may be a thing that you don't like at all. You know, it's kind of like uh, someone loves you, but they kind of don't show it in front of the world. This is what kind of a person the King of Cups is. But that doesn't mean that they don't love you. Just on the contrary, it is just for them. The love is sacred and that's why they don't want to brag about it. Now, the other card here, it is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. And we do have the chariot card. So chariot card, it's kind of peculiar into this position. To me, it kind of talks about the uh, self-confidence and self-esteem uh, without any help or without any, uh, how can I say it? Without any uh, performance from your behalf, whatever problems you do have in there or whatever you're striving for is going to come on its own accord. So pretty much with the chariot card, it is like going against all odds. So this is what you should not do. This is what is going to deprive you from, uh, from being happy in love and relationship. Say, I don't know, kind of like say that uh, you want to be with someone that is married and has a, uh, a family, okay, that is going against all odds. And until they don't uh, kind of like divorce or uh, excommunicate their family, then, you know, you shouldn't hope for it, uh, at, least th at least throughout this particular week. So you should put a hold on that idea. I'm just giving you an, an example here. But yeah, the chariot here points that you should not hope that you can overcome a great odds, but rather aim for the smallest progress because the smallest progress is going to be also the steadiest progress. And finally, at the end for you, we do have the 10 of ones, which is the guidance in terms of love and relationship Capricorns. And uh, that card here represents uh, the um, being uh, being ready to sustain what you want. So that being said, uh, whatever you are striving toward in terms of love and relationship, before you actually start doing something about it to achieve it in one way or another, you have to ask yourself, can I sustain it? Do I have what it takes to keep it ticking, to keep it moving on forward so you want family with someone well ask yourself can i be a, a wife or a husband to that person can i can be a part of their life it is because the ten of wands here uh, it's kind of like speaks that you will have to take the pros and the cons from your future endeavors that are to be manifested throughout this week uh, January 13th to January 19, 2020. And if you are not ready to do what it takes, then you're going to lose it forever. Uh, say you want to be with that guy that is very handsome, but the guy likes to uh, party and guy likes to go out with his friends and so on and so forth. If you are not, uh, not ready to handle this, then there is no point going into relationship because that guy is not going to change at all. So that being said, this was your uh, love and relationship tarot reading Capricorn. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you do want a, a personal reading with me or you're interested listening to your career and business reading for that very same week, you can check out the description down below of this video. And there you're going to find both links, one to my website from which you can schedule a personal reading or 
and uh, one to the other reading of the week, which is a career and business. So hopefully we're going to see each other around, guys. And until then, bye.